What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Keelan and today it's a very exciting vlog because we are applying to the graphic design program at George Brown. So recently I've decided that I really just want to be a forever student because student life is great and I applied to a bunch of university and college programs across the world basically. And I was accepted to a program in Australia for a master's of creative writing and publishing. But I've also been doing a lot of book cover design lately and design is something that I'm quite passionate about. Who knew? <laughs> this is new to me. And so I figured like, how do I upskill myself? Well, I could do a graphic design program. So I applied, I got past the academic requirement stage. Um, I honestly wasn't too worried about that. I had great high school marks and I did a master's program at university and I had great, you know, master's marks. Um, what I was a little worried about though was that that was all in science and it wasn't in graphic design at all. Um, so I'm glad that even though like it was in a totally different discipline, all of that was like accepted by George Brown. So basically the next stage though is that I have to submit a portfolio. And so I can submit 15 total designs, like 15 total pieces maximum, and I have to submit them in three different categories. So digital work, no problem. I've got tons of digital work like photo manipulations, illustrations, etc. That's no problem at all. Typography, also no problem at all because I am a book cover designer. So that is zero issue. Um, the big issue though is actually there's like kind of like a classic, I forget what it, they call it exactly, but it's like classical art. So like sketches, paintings, drawings, etc. Um, I have paintings because I love to paint. So I have paintings. They're at my parents' house. And I think I'll submit like one or two of those, but I, I need to have some sketches. So what I was going to do today was vlog the experience of me creating my portfolio. I don't know if it'll be accepted or not, but we're going to vlog the experience. And also like, you know, maybe I'll have to create a couple of new pieces in the midst of all this. So I've got most of the things they need. I've got the digital work. I've got the typography. I've got some paintings. We'll see how that goes. And they also require for some of the pieces like a breakdown of your process. And thankfully, I just filmed a video about my design process or like one of my design processes for designing a pre-made book cover. I'll link it up in the cards, but like I have a whole video showing my process start to finish, not just like sketches, um, next step, next step. It's like a full video. So that's really good. Anyway, that's the plan. So I was gonna bring you along today. I have to go get a sketchbook because I literally do not have one. And then we're going to start by trying to create one or two sketches that can be included in my portfolio so that, you know, I have a more diverse portfolio and it's not just a whole bunch of book covers. Yeah, so that's what's on the agenda. I come along. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up a sketchbook and some markers and some pencils to get some sketching done. I'm going to try the pharmacy nearby, the Shoppers Drug Mart, because they have everything. Like they have a grocery store in there and everything. But if that doesn't work, I'm gonna walk all the way to the mall, which is actually not that far. It's like a 15 minute walk and go to like an art store or maybe a Staples there or something. Okay, so this is their little stationary section, but I don't think they have what I need. Yeah, no, that's lined. I think it's mostly just like notebooks and stuff for, I don't know, school or whatnot. So I think I'm going to have to end up walking to the mall. Okay, so as I was walking to the mall, I noticed this place. And so we're gonna go in and see if they have what I need. They have what I need. I'm so excited. Okay, so I changed because I had to do laundry and I spilled coffee on my other shirt. But here is what I got at the store um i got a big sketchbook because i would actually like to sketch more and it was it was more economical it was 12 dollars um for 80 pages but just a 10 page sketchbook was like five bucks so i was like okay i'll get the big one i'm sure i'll use it even if it's just to like take notes in or whatnot i'll definitely use it so i got this guy um and then I got two sketch pencils because I don't actually have any. I've got markers um, that I can go over pencils with, like fine tip black markers, but I don't know, I didn't have any sketch, pe sketch pencils. So I got these rulers and stuff because these pages are huge. And so I'm probably not going to doodle over all of them. So, you know, I had to get these to like cut the page in half or whatever. 
Um, pencil sharpener, erasers, because I didn't have these. I didn't have like good erasers. And then I got kind of some crappy, I don't know if they're crappy, I haven't tried them, but they were only $3. So I'm assuming they're a little bit crappy, but like markers with both a fine tip and a thick tip in case I wanted to add a little pop of color to anything. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what I got from the store. I just got back and I've been going through my portfolio. I'm pointing over here because my computer's over here. Um, I've been going through my portfolio and really trying to get as diverse of a portfolio as possible because obviously I do book covers and there are plenty of book covers in my portfolio. But in previous jobs, I used to do graphic design. The tough thing is though, is in these previous jobs, a lot of the time it was not just me touching these like files or posters or whatever it may be. So I really want to make sure that any design that I put in my portfolio was really truly in fact just me and not any of my other team members because I wouldn't want to like, even if it was a team effort where I did the bulk of the work, I wouldn't want to like, you know, potentially take credit for someone else's work. So I do have a whole bunch of stuff that it was just me, but it's just hard to find. Like they're in my files, like way back there. Some of them I don't even have because you know, they were on my work computer. The only times I have them is if I had to like use a specific software that I had on my personal computer and move them over. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm in the midst of doing. So I've got my digital and typography sections pretty well filled out. I'm sure I'm going to adjust them. And now I have to work on my traditional art section. That is what it was called when I was confused earlier. It's called traditional art. So that is what I will be doing this afternoon. I feel like I'm doing 10,000 costume changes in this vlog, but my apartment is freezing because of the AC and I don't control the AC, the upstairs tenants do. So um, yeah, I had to put a long sleeve shirt on and I have my blanket on and I made hot soup for lunch, but it is about 3 p.m. I'm having a little bit of a late lunch. It's about 3 p.m. And I am going to, over lunch, sort through all of my existing portfolio and just kind of like pick and choose what I want to put into my application for George Brown. Okay, so I have an idea and sorry, you're up with me and you're gonna see my whole messy house, but I have an idea for a sketch. So I am going to head outside because I just feel like, I don't know, the outside atmosphere might be nice. And I'm super excited for it. So we'll see how it goes, let's go. I basically, I'm really into mushrooms, like not like magic mushrooms, but just like fungi. So I'm going to do like a fungi doodle, I think. Uh, we'll see how it goes, one second. Gotta go through my like super security area. Alrighty. I'm super excited for this. I was thinking like, you know, all different kinds of mushrooms or something like that could be super cute. Alrighty, here we are. All right, so I am situated on my front porch. We're gonna get started on this doodle. I don't know if I'm gonna make it like a doodle or like a full drawing, but I wanna do it in like a diamond shape and then just have all of these different mushrooms coming out of it. Oh, I should probably get my phone so I can look up inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that in just a minute. But yeah, we're gonna get started. Alright, so it is 10 p.m. My portfolio is done. I just have to answer the questionnaire. But I made dinner and basically it's just chicken fingers and broccoli because when you're an adult, if all you want for dinner is chicken fingers, you should at least add broccoli for the vegetables. So that's what I did. So we're going to take a Netflix break and I may finish off and submit my application tomorrow. But for now, I am going to consume this and watch some Netflix. <laughs> Here we go. I filled in the questionnaire. It's the next day now, by the way. I filled in the questionnaire and here we go. We're going to sub click submit. Ready, set, go. Oh my gosh, please work. 
oh, thank God, I've been on that page for like two days now. <laughs> I was really nervous it wasn't gonna work. Woo, okay, it's submitted.